All right, I'm back at the Bat Cave. Actually, uh, the temporary shop, if you will, where we're making all the cushions. But uh, we have a side project today because I got I got this back, which is the report on our prop. Told me, ooh, ooh, it's nice. It's a nice looking prop. It's funny because it looks really pretty, real pretty, really pretty prop. Such a pretty prop, really pretty prop. So now we're gonna paint it. <laughs> Relax. Because of the primer. And uh, Norm was awesome, so he already had some of this stuff because it's like, it's expensive stuff. You have to buy both of them, and we only have one prop to paint. So he said, Here, use the stuff I have. So that's awesome. And then he also gave me paintbrushes. So we're all set. I'm gonna set this up. Let's just look at the pretty prop again. Ooh, it's such a pretty prop. Look at the light, how the light reflects off of it. It's nice. Now we're gonna paint it black. <laughs> how do you feel about that, honey? I like it black. <laughs> oh. I think the prop is very pretty, so. It is nice. Like, it's very nice, so. The fact that it gets painted is sad, but. Come on over here. Talk to me. Come on now. Come on over. Whee! Oops. Ding! Whatever. We need a bigger shop. Not really. <laughs> we need to get on a boat. I have this report. Yeah. And since Melissa used to work in a machine shop, I'm going to have her interpret it for you. Oh, jeez. And then everyone can give their opinion of what she says. Uh, I don't like this. Down below. No. No. Also, if you're an a-hole, I'm just going to delete your comment. <laughs> just kidding. No, I probably will. But, at the end of the day, if you know what this is about, you can tell us. And if you don't, try and tell us anyway. To ensure optimum performance from these propellers, please check the following prior to installation. Right. Top scan and ISO standards. Yeah. Uh-huh. Top scan. Oh, look at that. Propeller report. This is the good stuff right here. Power report. Nice. Oh, numbers. This is this is the stuff that means much to me. Yeah. Okay. Good. Mhm. Mm These are tests. Mhm. Mm uh huh. Props in good shape. That's what I see here. I can. Now, what do you think? I I don't. I really don't know what these mean. Oh, oh mean. God. Get it? Hold on. Wait. Look. What mean. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I can tell you it passed all three passes. 100%. Wait, is that before or after though? Because the real one. That's after. Yeah, so they. It turns out the prop was not in fantastic shape. Neither was the shaft. The shaft was, you know. Woo. Right on a curve, you know what I mean? It's a bonus. Good thing. <laughs> so. <laughs> I mean. From other people's experiences. Uh, okay. So. <laughs> so, yeah, so like here, your propeller mean pitch was 9.984. But see, and it so. It ended at 9.671. Oh, maybe it started. Okay. So they made it, did it again, made it, did it yeah. again. So, this is where it started. It started at 72.5, 96.5, and 98.3. Oh, that's just a sample. That's not ours. Oh, okay. No. Oh, 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 yeah. so this is all... Yeah. Okay. Okay. Got it. All right, like you tell me what we got here. So we have... Okay, so that's ISO 481 Class 1 CTM. That probably means something to manufacturers, but not really to me. This, I'm assuming pitch. this is before the repair. It was 9.671. It has the breakdown of the... So ours wasn't far off, basically. That's why all these numbers look similar. In their example, yeah. A is tweaked, and in our example, A is, a is tweaked. By 0.1%. That doesn't even seem worth it, does it? I wouldn't think so, but. Well, anyway, so we got a whole bunch of this stuff. It's... I might I might just go ahead and post this online. And you can have a look-see at it if you were ever curious. But let's get to the fun stuff. What's that? Oh. This thing. Oh. I thought you already showed it off. I did, but I'm going to show it off again. 
Because it's shiny. Just don't and hit me in the out. face with it. Look how shiny it is. You don't even have the lights on. I know. This is literally just the sun reflecting off of... Oh, so, wow. we're going to paint this, like I said, black. We got to prime it. And I was told... I was told... No, the primer is actually green. I know. Oh. Well, it's... Yeah. It finishes too, black. Right. But uh, I was told that humidity is a huge factor on this. So we're going to scuff this thing up with this sandpaper 60 grit. Of course! Uh, give that a good scuffing. We're going to prime it. Then we're going to wait overnight. And then tomorrow we're going to... Okay, just you ready make to paint sure, this? Just make sure your primer is dry. That's all he's trying to say. Yeah, yeah. Paint. Prime. prime. Wait. Stick paint. out your tongue. Uh, uh, you ready to paint this? I'm gonna watch. <laughs> That's funny. I guess I'm gonna paint it. Whew. It's heavy. Imagine if we had a big drop. <laughs> It's like one of those, one of those uh, prayer chimes. Just wipe this puppy down. Bring it back to its original sheen. Which we don't really know what that was. We only knew it as blue. Primer. Should have started on the other side. As you might be able to see, it would have made it a little easier and a little less messy. But we did what we did, and we'll get it painted. Then how are you gonna flip it over? I'm just gonna wait until this is a little bit tacky. Second day. Uh, we painted it last night, and it's kind of a it's kind of a process because you do primer and then two coats. Looks really good. I was inspecting it this morning, and now it's time to do the Velux Black. I will point out you're, you're gonna do two layers for sure, and it's not supposed to cover the first one, and then the other you do perpendicular to it, so you can really tell the coverage. So that's what we're gonna do. This paint hasn't been sitting forever, but it still says to uh, stir it three to five minutes. So I will do that. Timer now. And the first coat on there and you can see little lines on it and that is good as I was reading the instructions they want that because the first coat shouldn't actually cover the whole thing anyhow you also might be wondering why are you inside the house well 
It says relative humidity is a really big deal when you're painting this. So our garage one is full of cushion stuff, which is kind of a clean area right now because we're doing a lot of sewing in there. But um, it's also super hot and humid. So we did this in here. There's the mess. Turns out, it wasn't that much work. I feel pretty good about it. That's the boat life. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hope you learned something. Make sure to subscribe. Tell your friends. Share this video.